In this lesson, we're going to talk about Lewis dot diagrams. Maybe you've seen them in class where your teacher draws like, for example, a certain element and then puts either dots or maybe they use X's. But that's what we're going to learn about. Or that, that sounded weird. That's what we're going to talk about in this, um, in, in this lesson. Okay. The only thing that you need to know before this lesson is um, valence electrons, not valency. I'm talking about valence electrons. They are is the concept of valence electrons, not valency. I'm saying valence electrons. So we know that valence electrons, to work out the number of valence electrons that an atom has, you just look at the group numbers. So this is group number one, group number two, group number three, group four, group five, group six, and group seven, um, and group eight if you want, okay? We're not looking at the numbers plus one, uh, plus two, plus three, plus minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. That is valence C, but that's not what we need when doing uh, Lewis, dot di Lewis diagrams, okay? So check how easy this is. If we look at, if I ask you to draw the Lewis diagram of aluminum, you would just say AL. Then you would say, okay, it's got three valence electrons. And so you'd say one, two, three. If your teacher uses dots, that's fine, use dots. Now, if we had to, and look at, there's four different places. You see this? Um, there's four different places that you go to. And then there's four different areas. So that's the first area, second area, third area, and fourth area. Okay, so now we're just gonna do a bunch of examples so you can just make sure there are some little interesting parts. So let's quickly try to do the Lewis di diagram of chlorine. So chlorine is in group seven. So you're just gonna put um, one dot, in each of the four places like that, or one cross. And now that all four places have been filled up, now you can go match them up again. So five, six, seven, okay? Now let's do the Lewis dot diagram of silicon. So silicon is in group four. So you're gonna say one, two, three, four. Now let's do some with dots, it doesn't really matter. Now let's look at Na. So Na is in group one, so that just has one little dot. Uh, let's do magnesium. Magnesium is in group two, so you'd put two dots. Um, let's see, neon. Neon um, is in group eight, so it would have one, two, three, four. And once the four have been put down, then you can go join them up again. Six, seven, um, and there's eight. Then let's do oxygen. So oxygen would be one. Oh, uh, well, sorry, oxygen is in group six, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. For oxygen, you would not do it like this. So this next part, this next part is wrong. You wouldn't put all six like this, for example. You see, what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to put one, 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 and then you go again like that. Okay, that's important. And then let's maybe do calcium. So calcium, is in group two, so that means it gets two electrons. And let's do one more, boron, let's do boron. So boron is in group three, so it gets three electrons. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the basics that you need to know for um, Lewis diagrams. Now in future lessons, we're gonna start talking about things like ionic bonding, covalent bonding, metallic bonding, and we're gonna learn how to put atoms together using these Lewis diagrams, okay? So this lesson was really easy because I was just showing you the Lewis diagram of an individual element, but we're gonna start putting multiple elements together and then we're gonna use Lewis diagrams in more detail.